An assistant should help the wearer don the garment. Remove all jewelry and personal items, pins, key rings, badges that might damage the garment. Check function of respirator and place nearby donning location. Visually check size and condition of outer boots in place nearby donning location. Conduct a brief visual inspection of the garment before beginning donning procedure. Open the garment zipper closure completely and read garment size label to assure proper fit. Remove shoes. The sock boots on this garment are worn inside the outer chemical boots. These sock boots do not have adequate durability or slip resistance to be worn over footwear as an outer covering. While seated, Insert feet into garment legs and down into sock boots. Stretch legs out to maximum extension while pulling garment up around hips. Pull boot splash flaps up and don outer boots. Fold splash flaps back down over boots as far as possible. Don the respirator face piece and tighten head straps to secure. Place hands in sleeves and pull garment to shoulders. Pull hood overhead and have assistant ensure proper fit between respirator face piece and garment elastomeric face seal. Slowly close the zipper. After checking that the zipper is completely closed, the flap should be closed and sealed over the zipper.
With the assistant's help, the user should squat down and expel air from inside the garment through the face seal interface. Don the appropriate SCBA and adjust straps for fit. For class one applications, don the knit Kevlar overglove. At least one assistant should help the wearer doff the garment after field decontamination. If the garment has been contaminated, the assistant should wear protective clothing and respiratory equipment. If the garment has been contaminated or suspected of being contaminated, the wearer should continue to use his respirator until the garment has been doffed and removed. While the wearer stands, the assistant should remove the SCBA and open the zipper closure, peeling the garment down and away from the wearer's shoulders. The wearer should hold the respirator face piece while the assistant works the elastomeric face seal away from the respirator face piece. The assistant should help the wearer remove his arms from the sleeves. Lower the garment below the hips and have the wearer sit down. The assistant should remove boots, pull the garments off the leg, and remove the garment to a remote location. Once the garment has been removed, the wearer can doff the respirator face piece.